welcome to Through the Gears, the antique and collectible car show. This is the world of machines that are both mechanical innovations and, of course, exquisite works of art. I'm Rick Carey. And I'm Janice Hamilton. Coming up in this episode, we have an invitation to the most prestigious automobile show in the world, the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance. And a ticket to one of the best regional competitions. We're going to visit the world's largest Packard collection. Mm -hmm. We'll have some tips on vintage car care and a look at the fine art of automobile restoration. We rebuild it as it was new and possibly better. Which, by the way, we are in the middle of in this collection. We sure are. We're at Vantage Motor Works here in North Miami. And I don't know about you, Rick, I can't make a decision as to which is my favorite. Now, I know it's hard, but I got to tell you, if I were buying, I'd buy the Bentley convertible. Oh, yeah? But I bet For the you, weekends. For the weekends. <laughs> but I bet you would buy the Rolls-Royce Corniche. You know what? I'm not fussy. They're yeah. all gorgeous. They're all elegant. or more years ago, yep. you could actually customize your automobile. And in some cases, they would come in and they'd design their own absolutely fabulous cars. Amazing flights of fancy works of art, and the coach builders would build them. And of course, it was very prestigious. I mean, you had a one of a kind. I love that, that car you were showing me earlier. What, what was the year on that? No, that's a 1959 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. It is a shooting brake by Harold Radford, an English coach builder. That car was built in 1959 for a client in Greens Farms, Connecticut, here in the United States, so it's a left-hand drive car. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But I'm really looking forward to meeting some of our collectors, too. Yeah, there are so many. The world of car collecting is such a diverse field. There are many 1915 cars, but there are very few of this model. This is one of the most sought after cars today. The car is one of 16 that exist. This, to me, is a work of art. There are people who have literally hundreds of cars. There are people who race their cars. There are people who spend their entire year going to car shows. And there are other people who just want to buy the car that they couldn't afford when they were 16 years old in high school and the high school football quarterback had one. So whether you have a beginning collection, you'd like to add to that collection, learn how to restore, we're going to be meeting some of those collectors, hear their stories, how they got started, and visit some of those collections. Through the Gears is a journey through a century of automotive history, a reminder of our automotive heritage and a tribute to the vehicles that have excited the passions of generations of car lovers. So stay with us.